Hello there, this is Icy Toonie here with another TF2 gameplay video. In this video, I'm going to be showcasing the heavies and new melee weapons, the Fists of Steel, I do believe they're called. Yes, the Fists of Steel. And uh, they're a pretty cool weapon released with the uh, uh, Winter Holiday Update or the Australian Christmas Update. Uh, the update that I am uh, kind of late to the party in showcasing some videos for, but uh, I will try to catch up in that in the next couple of weeks here, or actually guess next week while I'm off of school. But uh, we're going to start it off here with the Fists of Steel getting juggled by... Uh, air blasting pyro there which is what uh, pyros should probably do when someone is ubered but uh, this game itself is kind of more of a fun game one where I'm gonna be using my nice little melee gloves uh, more often than my actual new minigun and uh, I do crit quite a bit in this video it's it's one that uh, I did get a little bit lucky on but still a fun one nonetheless so uh, these gloves that I will be using quite a bit, uh, you are seeing actually the new heavy minigun as well, which is, I don't even know what it's called here, I apologize, the Brass Beast, yes I should have known that, but uh, you're seeing the Brass Beast right, right now, and uh, it is actually a pretty cool minigun, I don't think I'm going to be talking too much about it in this video because I don't use it quite as often as I use these monsters of gloves, they look so cool, I know, uh, they're actually probably one of my favorite weapons that was released. But uh, these gloves do uh, make you take 40% damage from any ranged weapon, so rockets, pyro flare blasts, or anything that's not really a melee weapon, you're going to be taking 40% damage from, which is a very minuscule amount. So you can actually like run up to a level 3 sentry gun and basically take it down from full health before you die. And uh, it's just that powerful, but it's one downside is you're going to be taking basically double damage from any melee weapon. So basically it's going to force any smart person into a melee uh, <laughs> melee battle with you. Uh, right now not everyone knows about its huge downside, so a lot of the time you can take advantage of this nice melee weapon. But once people kind of get uh, the information that all you have to really do is take your melee out and melee the guy with the fist of steel and you'll basically kill them in two hits, <laughs> then uh, they'll their use will be a little bit limited, but for now, as you can see, it, they're pretty pretty monstrous weapons I guess and uh, I, I have fun using them and it's always fun seeing any heavy using them as well so uh, yeah the heavy got its own nice poly count pack during the update uh, kind of more of a I don't know what to call it a wildlife pack or uh, basically he got these nice bear claws a uh, nice piece of steak and the brass beast which I am using as my minigun and uh, these fists are not part of that uh, Part of that polycount pack is I do die there, but uh, they were kind of just released on the side during the Christmas update. Uh, a lot of other classes also got some melee weapons, so I'll be showcasing those as well. The scout got a couple of them, and uh, there you can see Vince Bone Steel. He's not afraid of anything, he just wants to taunt around a corner, and oh, no, damn Demo Man Jack Brickman got him before Vince was able to get the nice taunt kill there. I should actually do a taunt kill video, that'd be pretty fun, but that'd actually be very, very difficult. Maybe I can make like a taunt kill frag video or something like that. But uh, like I said before, these fists are probably one of my favorite weapons because there's not very often where you can basically force anyone else into a melee fight. I like using melee weapons as much as the next guy, but uh, they're not always quite as useful. But these ones are just monsters and just so much fun to go around pounding sentry guns, pounding <laughs> nice little medics and soldiers. And basically they can do nothing about it unless they take down their melee weapons. So uh, basically you can be fearless with this if you can if you notice that your enemy is not taking out their melee weapons. Don't be afraid to run up to a heavy <laughs> who's revving and hitting you even though you might die eventually. Uh, you have, like right there I'm just running straight into a sniper. Even if he headshots me he's going to do like 50 damage, maybe 60 damage. So that's just what makes this weapon so much fun and uh, that's why I'm just, it's actually kind of funny watching this. Just me running around with my melee weapons, critting the odd person and just giving them a few left jabs. It seems like I like using my left jab button more than my right jab button. It doesn't really matter, but uh, just noticing a few trends in my gameplay. And uh, that's kind of one of the cool things about me making these videos, because I get to watch myself play, I get to know what uh, what I can do better, and uh, kind of just my own play style sometimes. kind of cool looking at. But uh, for now, just kind of... <laughs> this is this is actually kind of sad. Just basically critting on sight. We got people gerardi I got a nice medic on me, and uh, actually, no, I'm getting air blasted now. Time to turn... Uh, take out the brass beast to finish off that pyro but uh, this is kind of 
a huge role here on Dust Bowl. Kind of reminds me of the Xbox days as well. We're on uh, Xbox. Basically, you could hold the enemies in spawn if you had a couple good demo men or a couple good heavies and medics. And that was a lot of fun. But <laughs> right now, I have these Fists of Steel and doing the exact same thing. So uh, I do recommend you guys using the, this, these fists as uh, as a melee weapon. Uh, for the heavy, the heavy actually got quite a few good melee weapons now with the Gru and uh, actually the new, what are those new fists called? Shoot, I'm sorry, I'm kind of uh, not very up to date with all the weapons names. The Warrior Spirit, which are very powerful melee weapons, and these guys. So I think kind of the heavy is more like the Pyro now in the sense where he has many melee weapons to choose from and... In, uh, for full time sake, I'm probably going to be sticking with these ones because it's always nice, let's say you're looking out for a sniper or something, to be able to pop around the corner with these melee weapons. Uh, you don't always have to use them just for combat. Let's say you're in a tough situation and you're running away, it might be best just to take them out so you don't take as much damage. Or like I said, if there's a sniper around the corner and you don't want to get headshot and one shot killed, you can basically just take out these gloves and only take like 100 damage from a headshot. But uh, for now, getting ubered, running at soldiers mindlessly, doing the WM1 style with my fists. So it's been a lot of fun using these things. And uh, that's kind of why I have it as my first video. Because I do have to say that I've been using these weapons probably the most out of anything else. But uh, as the round is winding down, I will talk. Uh, I am going to be releasing a bunch of videos with the polycount weapons and uh, other such stuff. I do have a bit of footage, so look out for that in the future. If not, uh, they might actually be released with this video. But uh, anyways, 10 to 8 seconds here, and we're actually kind of just spawn camping here. Kind of a sad sight, but uh, a fun one nonetheless when you are on defense. One second, there we go. And yeah, top ranking like a boss here is a Fist of Steel demo man. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching you guys.